Give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakudash, Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere child of woman to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the servants, the prophets, the that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine, and to you I say shalom. Wish they could see like we do. All right, and this is this topic is really for you know brothers in the truth, um, you know even sisters that know about the truth, where you may have family members, you may have you know friends, where sometimes you wish that they could see this truth as you do. All right, you wish they could see the prophets. You wish they could see the MOTB. You wish some, you know, that, that your parents could see the wrath or, or, or the times that we're living in. All right, but it's not up to you. It's not up to you for them. To, it's not up to you to give them eyes. It's up to the, it's the Lord that gives gives them eyes. It's the Lord, if the Lord wants to open their eyes, if the Lord wants them to get this knowledge, then he'll do it. All right, it ain't up to us. I wish my parents, I wish my family members could see this truth and could understand this truth and you know but it ain't up to me all right that's something that you know that you'll learn being in the truth you'll learn with maturity that you know hey this is it's not for everybody all right and that's one that's something you have to accept even though you could you could break down the name you could break down these prophecies the MOTB in the simplest layman terms where 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 the simplest nigga can understand it but at the same time, their minds are seared with Christianity. Christianity has really done a, a Christianity, the Catholic Church has really done a number on our people and really plagued their minds with, uh, 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 you know, really the images of, of Edomite Jesus, the images that God is a so-called white man, that they really plagued our people's minds where they're not able to see. But like I said, it's not up for them to see. It's up to the Heavenly Father that gives them the eyes to see. All right, where, where, you know, and there's a lot of Jakes out there, you know, whether they're in your family or not, that really are sincere, that, that really, they really love the Lord, but they, they just, they just can't see this truth. Okay. Like the scripture says, they have a zeal of the most high, but not according to knowledge. All right. That, that Christianity, that love, God loves everyone is really seared in their minds with a hot iron. And it's, the heavenly father is the only one that can open their eyes. And, and, and um, you know, uh, and so they can see. And it really, is, for a lot of these jakes, you know, it's, it's really going to be a miracle. It's a miracle that a lot of brothers, that's in, that all the brothers that's in this troop woke up. Um, pursuant to uh, Ezekiel, the seventh chapter, or where, we, where uh, excuse me, 37 chapter, where we were all dead. All right, we were, we were dead bodies. But the Lord quickened us, quickened us with his spirit, and now we're alive. Now, now we can see, okay? So I said, it's not up to us. it's not up to us to uh, give them eyes to see. It's the Lord that has to give them eyes. It's the Lord that that you know um, gives them uh, uh, some understanding. They have to sup with the Lord, and the Lord has to sup with them. All right. Um, this is the book of uh, Saint John, chapter fifteen and verse sixteen. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit. And that your fruit should remain, and whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. All right, so we don't choose the Lord. All right, you like the Christian church, I can say, do you choose Jesus Christ in your life this day or whatever the hell they say? We don't we don't choose. The Lord chooses us. Okay? So if your family member, your mom, your dad, your cousin, whoever, your uncle, you want them to get the truth, the Lord gotta choose them. All right, it's about it's it's about it's about election, okay? Uh, it's about it's, it's the Lord chooses, all right? The Lord didn't choose him. The Lord didn't choose him. The Lord didn't, you know, if you if it's if your, your son, all right, and, and you want him to be in the truth, hey, maybe the Lord didn't choose him, okay? Hey, maybe the Lord may wake him up in the in in in, in the um the twelfth hour, okay? Uh, okay, but hey, we don't know, all right? But you brothers that do have eyes to see, just be grateful. And the Lord has blessed you and opened your eyes and has and has has called you and Lord willing we're chosen. Okay. Let me um jump back a few verses. I mean a few chapters to uh John chapter six. And uh, I'm gonna start at uh verse forty three. Uh Yahweh therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur 
not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him, and I will raise him up in the last days. All right, so the, Father, the Heavenly Father, no man can come to Yahweh Shai. No one can come into this truth except the Father, uh, 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 you know, give them give, give them um, eyes to see. Okay? That you, this is like Jeremiah was preordained uh, uh, from the beginning. He was predestined to be a prophet. All right, this is uh, Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee I, in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Okay, so Jeremiah, even before he was even came out of his mother's womb, he was a prophet. He was going to be a prophet, just like today. All right, every everyone's not a prophet. All right, everyone's not, is not ordained to be a teacher. All right, you're going to have helps of the prophets. You're going to have, you know, those that really believe, but they're not teachers. You're going to have, of course, you're going to have, you know, women and children and uh, men that are part of that one-third elect, okay, but they're not prophets, okay? And, and, and you know, like I said, everyone's not, a, every, everyone is, is, is not a teacher, but the Lord will open those, those, um, that that one third of the elect that 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 are helps of the prophets, okay, that are children of the prophets, okay, and, and the Lord may you know like you open your family members' eyes that you really want to get this eventually, okay, but you know it, it's not up to us, all right. This is all about it's, it's about a, a, a predestination, okay. The, the Lord you know the Lord chose His prophets from the beginning of the earth, all right. Um, Ephesians one, this is Ephesians one and verse four. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy, holy meaning, meaning separate and without blame before him in love. Okay, we have to separate ourselves from the world. All right, maybe you, hey, the Lord won't open your family member's eyes or whoever, because they, they, he, the Lord knows they're not going to be able to separate from the world. So I'm not going to. He's not going to waste a, 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 a talent on them. He's not going to waste this, uh, giving this person the spirit. When, you know, it's not for them. All right. That's what you got to realize. Sometimes, you know, you want your family members. I keep saying family members because them are the, those are the ones that are closest to us. And those are the ones that we would like to get this truth and seek salvation. We don't want to see them, you know, destroyed and, 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 you know, judged out here. But a lot of our family members are going to be destroyed and judged. All right. Close family members, distant family members, you know, that, that, that may have heard about the truth, but it just wasn't for them. But you may have some that they that 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 uh um you know turn to the truth at that at, at that eleventh hour. I think I said twelfth hour before that eleventh hour. Okay, but the Lord, but it says verse five, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai Mashiach to Himself according to the good pleasures of His will. This is all about the Heavenly Father's will. Okay, it ain't about our will. It ain't about you know well you know since I got the truth, I'm going to everybody in my family is going to be. In the truth, it don't work like that, all right? Because you may have a son, you may have, uh, 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 you, you know, uh, your wife. She may not be down with the truth, all right? She may not, you know, the truth may not be for her. She may not, you know, want to come, you know, you know, want to act right, okay? But if you know, if 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 she's a good woman to you, hey, you don't, you know, um, you don't put her away, okay? You know, um, oh, let me go to. Um, Isaiah uh, chapter 6 and verse 9. Because the Lord has really put a deep sleep amongst our people. All, all Jake was sleeping at one point. But the Lord had to, to quicken us with his spirit, all right, and, and, and make us alive again. And, and you know, hey, the, the elect is waking up. The elect is being quickened, okay? Um, this is Isaiah 6 and 9. And, I, and he said, go tell his people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of these people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their hearts and convert and be healed. All right. Our people really don't have eyes. They don't have eyes to see. They can read the Bible from cover to cover, from Genesis to Revelation, but it, they, they don't understand what they're reading because the spirit is not dealing with them. They don't have the Holy Spirit. OK, it, 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 a nigga in the Christian church think you got the Holy Spirit or you'll think you got the Holy Spirit because this nigga's. You know, uh, on the ground, shaking like a fish out of water. That ain't the Holy Spirit. Them niggas got demons. The Holy Spirit is the understanding. When you read something in the scriptures where you understand what you're reading, you're all right because the Holy Spirit is dealing with you. Or right, you can have a Jake read this scripture I just read. Uh, go hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. 
they, they don't understand what that means. They don't understand that the Lord has closed. Uh, uh, yes, yes, we have eyes to see. We have ears to hear. Okay, but the, the Lord has closed our spiritual eyes, has closed our spiritual ears where we can't see that. All right. And, 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 and you know, if the world can't see it. The world, the world can't see this truth. Okay. And this truth, this truth wasn't given to the world. It was only given to a, a, a remnant, okay? It, it, a remnant of the teachers and a remnant of the of the uh, the helps of the prophets. All right, let me jump over to um, Isaiah uh, 20, 29 and 10. It says, For the Lord hath poured out the spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers and the seers have he covered. Okay, the Lord, that's that, that spirit of deep sleep. All right, why they, that's why they can't see as we see. Okay, they can't see the MOTB. They can't see the Cassius Society. All right, they, they can't see World War III happening in their time. Okay, they can't see the collapse of the dollar. They can't see none of this shit. You can show them all the news articles. You can show them what Esau said about the MOTB. And, and they may, you know, and they may come around, but if they don't come full circle and, and understand what the MOTB is and where the Israelites, it ain't, it's that the Lord has really closed their eyes. Okay, it's poured out that spirit of deep sleep. And it said, the prophets, your rulers, and seers have me covered. So the, the, the so called prophets, I don't even call them prophets, these, these Catholic priests, these preachers in the Christian church, they, hey, he closed their eyes too. They can't see. All right, because these are the people that, um, uh, uh, the majority of our people look up to, who the more, majority of our people follow, who they take their word as truth and, and not and not yours. And, you're, and you can read them right out the same King James Bible they've been reading out of for, for, for 30, 40 years, all right? And, and and you can break the scriptures down, show them the blue letters, show them what it says in the Greek and the Hebrew, and they won't get it because they, they've got that spirit, that, that, that heavy spirit of deep sleep. Um, let me grab this. Uh, first, Second Corinthians... Uh, four and three. But if our gospel be hid, it, it be hid to them that are lost. All right, they're lost. They're blind. They don't see. Okay, when you're lost, you you know even if you do have eyes, you 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 don't have spiritual eyes to get out of that whatever situation you're in. All right, you 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 can't see you can't see your way out of that that, that lost situation you're in. All right, our, our gospel is hid from these people. The Lord hid it, all right? Because we all read on the same Bible. We all have access to the internet through the, the blue letter and all these different type of translations. But the Lord hid it from them, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. All right, the God of this world, Esau, Edom, so-called white man, has blinded our people, blinded Jake, okay? Blinded your parents, blinded your sister, your brother, blinded your kids, blinded your best friend, Okay? Where, where, you know, when you, when they think of, when they think of the Bible, when they think of God, the first thing that come, comes to their mind is the, 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 uh, the Christian images, all right? Jesus Christ in their, in their Catholic church, Mary holding a little baby, all right? That's what they see, okay? Even if they go to a Christian church or AME a &M -E church, they, all right, they still got the images up there, all right? Because that Christianity has been, like I said, has been seared into the minds of our people, okay, by the devil. All right, and whom the God of this world blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. Okay, it's the Lord that has to open your eyes. That, that, that it's, it, Yahweh shines the light that has to shine upon you, or right, for you to see. Okay, if if, if not, you're just going to be in darkness. You're going to be in gross darkness, and, and hey, our people are going to get destroyed out here. Our people are going to get judged severely going to be a severe judgment amongst Israel, Israelites in America. All right, this is um, Baruch, the, the book of Baruch in the Apocrypha, chapter 4, and um, let's see, um, damn, where's that supposed to be? Give me one second. Let me look it up in my phone. I believe it's Baruch, uh, the fourth chapter. Let 
Um, bear with me one second. Let me check chapter five real quick, real quick. Maybe it's the third chapter. Uh, Let me look it up real quick. Bear me one second. Let us ten more seconds. I can't find it. Um, so uh, let me see. Yeah, that's all I really had, you know, because sometimes, you know, you know, Jake, you know, we wish that, you know, we in this truth and we see the prophecies happen. We see, uh, 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 we see, you know, the, the calamities, the, 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 the danger. And, you know, we want our, you know, we don't want our family, our loved ones, to, you know, to, to repent and, and, and turn to the Lord and, you know, really call on the name of the Lord. But, you know, it ain't up. It is not up to us. To, for, for, to open their eyes. It's the Lord that has to open their eyes. It's the Lord that has to, uh, you know, has to suck with them and, 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 like I said, open their eyes to this to this truth, okay? So all we could do is pray for them and, 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 and you know, hope they, you know, hope they repent and, and, and turn unto the Lord. So, um, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, 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 Yahwe